All right, y'all. So this is gonna be uh, once again about the Texas school shooting. Now, his family, all right, is claiming that he is the victim. All right, that's right. That he is not. All right, Timothy Simpkins here is not the victim. I'm sorry, he's not. All right, but not only did they say he is the victim, they set up a GoFundMe page for him. That's right. Now, um, I will say, thankfully, the GoFundMe page was shut down. Now, um, I really want to know if anybody donated money to it, if anybody, um, if anybody did donate money, what happens? Do they get the money, or do they, does it get sent back to the user? That's what I want to know. That will probably never be released, but that is something that I would like to know. Alright, so, um... Now he shot uh, Zachary Zach Selby. Now if I'm saying that name wrong, please correct me on that. Now that was the 15 on. He shot him four times uh, with a 45 caliber handgun. Now, um, like I said, also a teacher was shot. Another student was grazed in the head by a bullet. Now, um, as we all know, he left the school, came back with an attorney, and was released on a $75,000 bond. Now, he is facing three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Now, um, the other people's family, the 15-year-old's family, they also started a GoFundMe page to raise money for medical expenses and legal fees for the 15-year-old. Now, um, he's already had two surgeries. Um, he was shot in the arm once, leg once, chest once, and the stomach once. Um... He will need more surgeries during this. Now, um, the boy right now is in a uh, medically induced coma in the ICU unit. So, you know, obviously he's in pretty bad shape. He's barely there. Um, like I said, but he was shot four times and he's only 15 years old. So, the way I look at it is, all right, people are claiming different reasons why um, Timothy Simpkins was... Bullet. Some people are saying it's because he's black. Some people are saying it's because he's rich. All right, whatever the case may be. All right, why ever you were bullied? All right, you have no reason to justify bringing a gun to school. All right, and people are talking about giving him probation. He don't need to be in jail. They need him back in school. All right, one we cannot allow him back in school. I'm sorry. If we allow him back in school, and somebody says something to him and he is upset or gets in his feelings. How do we know he won't shoot other people? Again, how do we know that? We cannot allow him back in school. At 18 years old, you know not to bring a gun to school. And you know that getting a gun and shooting people because they hurt your feelings is not the way to do it. Alright? And I guarantee you, the four people you shot were not all bullying you. Alright? Um, he, look. You can claim that he was being bullied, uh, whether he was or not, who knows. You know, let's just say he was. Still, he needs to go to jail. Alright, as simple as that. You do not use a gun to solve your problems. I'm sorry. You know, even if you would've got, got beat in the fight, alright, you still, you're standing up for yourself, alright? And eventually, they will get tired of fighting you, and you will gain that respect, alright? Um, and if you win, that's a, that's a plus for you. They won't mess with you. But you cannot bring a gun to justify shooting someone inside of a school. It's not going to work. Alright, um, he, he needs to go to jail. There's no probation involved in it. He needs to go to jail. He shouldn't even be released on a $75,000 bond, in my personal opinion. He should be sitting in jail right now answering why four people got shot. Alright, that's what he should be doing right now. And as far as his family coming, he's the victim. He's not the victim in this. He knew what's right from wrong, alright? You cannot justify bringing a gun to school. Like, you can't justify it. No matter how you look at it, you can't justify it, alright? And as far as his family saying, but go find me page, y'all are encouraging him to be the victim when he's not the victim. Y'all are part of the problem also, alright? But with that being said, um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching, and y'all stay safe, fella.